pumpkin patches are starting to open for the season. And we've got a lot of options in our area if you're planning a family outing. Bethany Winston from Kidding Around Greenville knows all about that. You've been doing some research uh, to talk about pumpkin patches today. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Um, when it comes to places to check out in the fall, um, your first suggestion is one we all know and love. You know, Denver Downs in Anderson is a guaranteed good time. Yes, I mean, I love Denver Downs because there's so much to do. You pay a one price admission fee when you go in, and there are just activities for every single age. The core maze is part of a mission. There's like tons of hay bales where the kids can swing back and forth, and even like little toddler areas where they can ride little bikes and things. Yeah, and you see some of those rides on screen. I mean, there's there's a lot of activity there. Your kids are going to be worn out after a day at yes, Denver Downs, Yes, go right? early and plan on staying a while, especially if you haven't been there before. Yeah. Because it's a lot of fun. And, and they've got one of the Reba mazes this year? Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of different um, farms that have Reba mazes this year, which is interesting, and they have one of them in the upstate. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And uh, there's another great spot that you say people should check out. It's up in Hendersonville, Nick's Pumpkin Patch, NIX. What makes that place special? Yeah, so we love Nick's for the fact that it's in Hendersonville. It's a really easy pumpkin patch to visit. So, you know, if you're up there picking up apples and mm -hmm. you're like, I want to do a pumpkin patch at the same time, you can just add that onto your list. Oh. They have a lovely pumpkin patch, and it's just a beautiful area. You pick flowers, so it's a great place to go if you just need like another stop in Hendersonville and you want to do everything on one day. And it's just nice seeing that video of, <laughs> of the family fun that happens. You're kind of yearning to go there. It, you don't have to go immediately. We've got time, but it's good to get an early start on the pumpkin patch. Yes, definitely. And you know, if you can get apples at the same time, all the better, right? Yeah, it all overlaps. <laughs> and then next, you got Stewart Farms in Henry. Also features one of those gifts, get lost with Reba corn mazes. Tell us about Stewart Farms. Yes, yeah, so Stewart is so nice. They have a you pick patch, so you can mm. actually cut the pumpkins yourself if you want to with a ton of different varieties varieties of pumpkins there. And then they have a fun um, maze too because at night they actually have like a big boo maze where it's oh, like not super scary decorations, just kind of a little spooky and they have yeah. a wagon ride. So if your kids want to do something Halloweenish but you don't want them to be scared, that's like a good you know, That option. is a good <laughs> level of just spooky fun. And then uh, we, uh, a few weeks ago Ava was out at another farm, Thompson Family Farm in Campobello. What makes that one stand out to you? Yes, yeah, so one of the unique things about Thompson Farm is they have a sunflower maze. So I believe it's the only one we know of in this oh, area. Beautiful. But you can wander through the sunflowers. It's free admission to come on the property. So if you just want to go out there and see the, the maze and buy some pumpkins maybe, you can always come on the property and take some photos even if you're not doing the maze. And it was wild when Ava was out there. Every time she stood in front of something, it looked like a photo backdrop. I mean, it's just beautiful everywhere you look. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, I mean, all these places are a great place to get a couple yeah. of like cute fall picks to the, yeah. that would be a definitely a great choice. Good outings. All right. Now a few tips to make the most of your farm visit. Um, you know, as you figure out which one of these places to go to or there's, you know, 50 other spots to choose from. You say check the website ahead of time. Also consider bringing a wagon. Talk about that. Yeah, so pumpkins are really heavy. I know, like, lugging this one in here today is like, you remember how heavy they are. Yeah. So, you know, especially if you're getting several pumpkins, you're going to want to have a wagon with you. Some of the places have wagons, but many do not. So, you know, think about how are you going to transport those pumpkins to yeah. the car. Yeah, consider Your five-year-old's probably not going to carry it for you. Not to, even <laughs> if they promise they will. So check the website for that. Um, hours costs all that stuff too yes and then when you get your pumpkins home i think that this is kind of fun to think about so obviously it's too soon we can't be carving into them immediately but there's some other crafts that you can do to, to make the pumpkin dress up your house what do you recommend yeah so especially with smaller kids maybe you're not wanting to hand them the knife quite yet because you don't yeah. trust them you know stickers are a fun alternative so you can just get some halloween stickers from the dollar store or from you know walmart or target and just decorate the front of your pumpkin with those stickers or also you know sharpie markers draw uh -huh. your face on instead of cutting it in can be fun or you know even painting like you could paint your pumpkins a fun color or paint you know a fun spooky design on it yeah and painting's nice you know you can nobody gets hurt if you want to change the design you can you can yes. start over but uh, <laughs> get your pumpkins early and then you can you can have that kind of fun um anything else you want people to keep in mind as they head out to the pumpkin patch this season making the most of family time yeah, just to have a really great time as a family. And like we always say, you know, you just have to go with the flow sometimes with kids. But, yeah. you know, if you go and you're committed to just having a good time, you can yeah. have a great time while you're out together. It's a great thing. Well, Bethany, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And uh, we do have a link to Kidding Around Greenville on our website. And on screen now, there are a lot of ways to find Kidding Around Greenville. Really valuable resource for families. So we appreciate you. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.